Good afternoon, everyone. I'm out here in Raleigh. This is a really nice neighborhood here. These are older established homes. And you could probably guess their value. I'm here pulling up this asphalt driveway. There's gonna be an addition here. There's gonna be a garage. It's gonna be concrete. This was supposed to be three inches thick. You can tell in some places, it's a lot more than that. Looks like there's a couple different layers in here. Probably been resurfaced once, or maybe it's the same one, I don't know. You can see how thick that one is. That one's maybe three layers. I will definitely be needing more dumpsters. There's the brick from yesterday's job. The builder asked me to bring here to put in those dumpsters. I will be bringing the track loader here later, as soon as I'm done with this, to grade out. I'm not too worried about getting every single piece out of here. A small piece can stay, they'll mix in with the, the dirt. We still got the excavate side over here for the build. We have to go down eight to 10 inches. And then that extra dirt will come out here to get some flat space over here. Started backfilling this, so there's plenty of room for it. Might even need more dirt. A friend asked me, how do I know where to start these projects? I really don't. I just start in the corner. And I also try to put these dumpsters where, where they're centrally located. I might drag one over here. Once I clear this lot area, this area here, it'll make it easy for the company to come pick it up. That way you don't have to track too much. I'm getting the big pieces out and just putting them right in the dumpster, all the small stuff. So I'll drag it over, I'll keep bringing it over, and then once I get a nice clear spot here, I'll most likely drag that dumpster over so I could just scoop it in. And then with the track loader, I get all the small stuff that's left and, and grade, do a rough grade. With these, you gotta remember that there might be utilities. This place has been marked. This is major utility here. It's a manhole cover. That goes down seven feet, six, seven feet at least. So I'm not too worried about that. I just gotta get around it. People think we have one thing here and usually something different. You know, like I mentioned earlier, it's supposed to be three inches of asphalt. It's a little more than that. Something that I heard Let's Dig 18 say once I was on these machines. Learn to use your feet. He is, I absolutely agree with them. You're able to do more than one thing at one time. Once you get comfortable with it, you're, you become, it becomes second nature, including loading trailers, loading onto trailers. It took me a little bit to get used to it because I was using my hands, but you know, he was right. Learn to use that. You know, I, I go ahead and when I go up a trailer, I go ahead and just lower down the RPM since it has enough power to get up there. And that makes it easier and there's no reason to bounce this machine around going up there or anywhere but just wanted to share today what my project is pulling out this asphalt then prepping it getting ready for a build in concrete with this one i do have the 36 inch bucket which i'm glad i do because i do need this teeth to get underneath it and rip it out but i do have my 48 also which i don't think i'll be using i think i'll be sticking to this one Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out.